Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to deal with parabolas where we are given the focus and the directrix. In the diagram below you can see a parabola with a focus at 2, 0 and a directrix um, on the line x equals minus 2. So what is the definition of a parabola? Well, if we draw a line from a focus to a point on the parabola and then a the shortest line from that point to the directrix, those lines are equal. And we will later on use that definition to get the equation on the right of the screen, y squared equals 4ax. Now, certain things you need to notice about this, which are very helpful, are that the distance between the focus and the vertex of the parabola is equal to the distance between the vertex and the directrix, and that can come in helpful when you're trying to find the equation of the line. Um, also notice that the vertex on this standard one is at the point zero, zero. So let's derive the equation of our parabola. So the thing to note here, the focus is at A0, and um, although it says the directrix at minus 2, that's actually at the coordinates, um, or that's the equation, x equals minus A. So the, we formed a right angle triangle where the red dotted line is a length of y and the bottom part of our triangle there is going to have a length of x minus a. So what we want to do is equate the length of the line from the focus to the point on the line to the length of the line from the, um, from the point on the line or the parabola to the directrix. So we've got the length of this first line being x minus a squared plus y squared. So we've just used Pythagoras' theorem on our right angle triangle. And the line from the point to the directrix is x plus a. So we can equate those to each other. And then what we're going to do is square both sides. Then we're going to expand the brackets um, and then once we expand the brackets, we can cancel out the x squareds and the 2ax's. I'm sorry, we can't cancel out the 2ax's, the a squareds. And take the minus 2ax to the other side to get the equation that we're trying to get. So let's find the equation of a parabola when we know the focus and we know that it satisfies y squared equals 4ax, the standard equation. So here we've got the focus at 4, 0. Well, since a is the x-coordinate of the focus of the equation and the x-coordinate of the focus here is 4, all we've got to do is say y squared equals 4 times 4x or y squared equals 16x. So what happens when the vertex is not the origin? Well, if the vertex has been moved to, um, say, the point PQ, then the equation becomes y minus p all squared equals 4a times x minus q all squared. So it can be seen that um, pq is the coordinates of the vertex. It was at 0, 0 before. And that a is the distance between the vertex and the focus. Now that's really important, that a is the distance between the vertex and the focus. So let's look at an example. Find the equation of the parabola with a vertex at 3, 7 and a focus at 5, 7. So P and Q are the values from the coordinates of the vertex. So in this case, P is 7, because it's the Y value, and Q is 3. And the distance between the vertex and the focus is 2, so A is 2. So we end up with the equation Y minus 7 all squared equals 8, because that's 4 times 2, times X minus 3. Let's look at another example. Find the equation of the parabola with a focus of um, 8, 4 and a directrix of x equals 2. Now, we might note, remember from the first slide that the um, vertex is midway between the directrix and the focus. So that means then that the vertex is going to have the coordinates um, 
halfway between these, so it's going to be 5, 4. So that means in this case that P is going to be 5 and Q is 4. And the distance between the vertex and the focus is 3. So that gives us the equation Y minus 4 squared equals 12, because that's 4 times 3, um, all times X minus 5. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.